What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today I'm going to go over just a quick thing of me cleaning out from under my decks. This is pretty much an every day or every two day thing that I personally do. Uh, so every day, every couple days, make sure out from underneath your deck is clean. It's going to give you the suction you need to make sure you're cutting the grass at its full potential to make it look beautiful. Another thing we're going to go over is uh, what blade sharpener I use to sharpen my blades. I see a lot of people out there looking to buy the Oregon blade sharpeners, things like that. And uh, I just want to give you my input on it of why I personally quit using the Oregon blade sharpener and went to something better. So let's get going. As you can tell, I mean, my deck's really not that bad. There's really nothing there. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's good to, to get underneath it whenever you pull your blades off. Look, make sure what's going on is uh, all gravy under there. Because once again, that's going to give you your full potential. Another thing we got going on, we got a brand new belt on here. Uh, changed that the other day. And then... I usually pull it up on a jack stand and then I throw my jack under it, jack it up from the deck. Now I've had a lot of people say that this will mess your deck uh, pitch and everything else off, your, you know, to make it not, not be level from front to back, side to side, blah, blah, blah. But I've personally never had an issue with it on any of my mowers. Um, and this is how I've always done it. So this is how I continue to do it and how I'll always do it. Uh, maintenance on the Toro is real easy. You really don't have a lot to, to grease on it. It's got the, you know, the spindles are non-greasable. So you really just pull your blades off and uh, sharpen them. So now this is what I use to sharpen and also to balance my blades. So I used to use the Oregon blade grinder and it took forever. The thing was not very good by any means. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted that 30 degree angle on all my blades. And uh, you know, spending $400 on the, the Oregon one, I just wasn't happy with it. I turned around, I sold it, I ended up buying this. This has a uh, blade disc. This is not plugged in, by the way, just so y'all know. Uh, this has a blade disc, so you have left and right sided blades, and it gives you the perfect 30 degree angle every time, no adjustments needed. The Oregon one, you have to adjust it, you have to dress the wheel. Anybody who tells you the Oregon one is a great uh, blade sharpener has never actually used anything but a uh, probably a blade grinder wheel or uh, you know something like that once you've actually stepped up to an actual good machine like this you'll never go back to something like that especially for what you get for the money so uh, I got this I got an extra wheel plus I got the grit collector and everything I got it for 412 shipped to my door $412 shipped to my door and I absolutely love this thing uh, I probably won't ever go to anything else because most of the other blade grinders you have to adjust the wheel up and down to keep your 30 degree angle and if you're going to spend a thousand dollars on a magnetic or something like that you know what you shouldn't have to adjust anything uh, the best on the market is the a belt sander uh, I'm sure all of y'all know it'll sharpen them beautifully and uh, make them real sharp but this thing does a great job for the price and I won't go back to something else by any means so uh, no grinding grinding wheels or anything like that for me I'll, I'll just use keep using this so let's get going here show you a little bit about how this works why I love it and then uh, we'll put the blades back on this mower and boom all right guys another question I get asked all the time is how do I take my blades off my mower well, I use what I consider very, very good. Uh, this is the DeWalt 20 volt brushless half inch impact. Uh, and I've got quite a few batteries for it, but this is the one I use 
it's got a adjustment it's got a low and a high setting right here or you have your full torque setting as well so low a high full torque in the middle and then uh you know got a light that's on low that's on high this thing is a beast i absolutely love it this is how i change my blades my tires uh, my wheels on my trailer anything like that dewalt's got me covered boom all right guys so one thing that helps is cleaning the dirt off of your blades that way when you balance them they stay pretty well balanced true uh, and you don't get a lot of vibration under your deck i talk to a lot of people that don't even balance them but i balance mine it helps the spindle life of your mower as well as you can tell these are pretty dull pretty dull but uh you know the uh the best way to explain this is literally all you do is this sits right here flat against that and then you just pull it back and forth back and forth and it'll give you your edge then i have my stay uh then i have my thing over here that tells me my balancer and as you can tell this side is more heavy than uh the other side let's turn it around just to show you that how well this thing works um if it is off then you will you know you're going to get get it to moving but anyway we're going to put this on here we'll put some safety glasses on sharpen this blade up real quick and uh move on flat against the back of this good to go you're set for the next day so uh mower maintenance guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe and see you in the next one